Captain, do you know much of the Aegis project? I expected as much. Aegis was to be my father's magnum opus. He was a branch director and a scientist, but he still wanted more. He lived by a simple code. The ends justify the means. I've never been able to come to terms with that. Still, as I delve deeper into his work, I have come to see that, though mad, he truly had a first-rate mind. His name appears constantly in all kinds of texts, though mostly his early work pertained to advances in construction. Yet still, despite all that renown, Ah, my apologies. Lindo was scheduled to call. Thank you. Return later if you can. We'll pick up this discussion then. Farewell.
hardly worth the effort. We made it out safe. You all did a wonderful job. I believe we've done all we can here. We've got a whole bunch of free time now. What to do with it? I hope we can keep this win streak going. a little compression here would better serve the required bias factor tuning. Still, this Aegis was built for strength. <laughs> I can see his arrogant face in every one of these walls. We didn't get to finish our talk last time, did we? Where did we leave off? Ah, of course. Well, I may not be as great a scientist as my father, but I do have much I can be proud of. I have friends who trust me implicitly, just as I trust them. I am proud to fight alongside each of them. Kota may act the fool, but he swore to protect the Far East for as long as he draws breath. Alyssa battles Aragami, <laughs> and paperwork, every day for the people in the satellite bases. Meanwhile, Lindo and an old friend have gone in search of new Aragami. Every new find helps to create a better future. There's no one right answer to life. There's always many paths before you. I know that now. I'm glad. I first heard that from a friend. When Aegis failed, my father lost his mind. When he fell, he was alone. Enemies waited in every shadow. Fanaticism like his breeds self-righteousness, which brings isolation, only furthering his fanaticism. I walked that path once. I know too well how easy it is to slip and fall. I didn't mean to talk your ear off. Let's proceed. I may have mentioned this before, but... You really do remind me of one of my old friends. I expect the same greatness of you. Is that you, Grem? I know what you're thinking, but don't kid yourself. Especially if that's an order from HQ. We don't have those kinds of resources. Wanna know what's out there? Go look yourself. Ah, you're here. I wanted to apologize. I may have placed too much of my own burden on your shoulders. In any case, I made a prototype part using the QB cells. If you like, you can use it. Oh, I suppose I haven't told you that, have I? Almost all of the research at the Far East branch is focused on quelling the Aragami threat. Actually, this is quite the opportunity. Is there anything you'd like to know? We've talked about pureblood Aragami before, like the QB. Lindo gave a light explanation. I plan to use the QB cells to create a portable, instantly deployable shelter. With any luck, it will help those who can't fight the Aragami to defend themselves. What else would you like to know? Imagine it. Massive satellite base walls could build themselves in as little as three days. Research that would allow anti-Aragami walls to grow like trees is moving forward. Currently, it takes about six months to build even small satellite bases. But with this, we could truly help the human population begin to recover and spread out. What else would you like to know? Ah, yes. That research is meant to harness the transformative properties of QB cells. If applied in a shield, for example, they may learn to nullify attacks the shield has faced. They could also be used in base development, adapting materials to harsh environments. It's not yet ready for practical testing, but it will be. I'll see to that. What else would you like to know? Ah, we're developing a plan to synthesize oracle cells meant to instantly sate the aragami appetite. Humans eat when we're hungry, but aragami are always hungry. It is a base instinct to them, like breathing. If we can find a way to stop that gnawing hunger, they won't want to eat us. It's simple. 
Although perhaps not the most elegant solution. What else would you like to know? Theoretically, we can trap Aragami in armored pens and try to control what they eat and when, thus training them in a way. If it proves feasible, it will be easier to obtain materials for research and god arcs. Maybe even find an alternative food source for them. Moreover, we might be able to breed Aragami that only eat other species of Aragami. Precisely the definition of two birds. What else would you like to know? Some God Eaters resonate with others. We may try to use that same resonance to commune with Aragami. But, being in blood, I suspect you know all about resonance. Who can say? Maybe one day, Aragami and humans will no longer be trapped in war. What else would you like to know? Very well. Leave all of that element to me. In fact... We need Sakaki to focus more on his directorial tasks, and less on his research. <laughs> Did you know that humans used to be able to get to the moon? It was lost when the Aragami came. There seemed to be bigger problems. We lost almost all of the old Earth. But still, we keep fighting. Striving to take it back. We keep pushing. One small step at a time, against the tide. We can make a better future. Come on, let's keep going. I... I maybe stumble a little bit, but... I'm really, really, really... Alright guys, begin scouting for the target. Your orders have been altered. You can ignore the Aragami engaged with Blood Alpha. Copy.
Bunch of free time now. What to do in it? I believe we've done all we can here. That was really great work. I hope I get to support you again soon. Nothing. Nothing at all. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 